Hello, Diana. Hello, Wendy. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Diana, can you hear me? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. How was your day? It was okay. It was easy. Quiet. Oh, okay. Good. You're ready to relax next week? Uh, finally. <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay. And you, Wendy? Are you going to have vacation next week? Yes. Mm, this day was my day off. Mm -hmm. Very relaxed. <laughs> okay. Good. How about you, Kevin? How was your how was your day? Kevin? Okay. Thank you for telling me, Kevin. Monica, how about you? How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Good, good. Well, I'm glad that we have a couple people here. The first thing we're going to do is take a moment and talk about our about our day. As you can hear, my voice is almost gone. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'll try to make it. All right. So first, I'll put in the chat.
Yo creo que me está fallando el internet. Today we are going to learn about I wish I use it used with the verb in past tense. Mm -hmm. I wish. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Okay. We are going to listen and we want to answer the questions. The questions from 3.8. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. It's okay, or one more time? One more time. One more time, please. Mm -hmm. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me... Okay, what's number one? Second. Mm -hmm. Number two. Third. Third. Number three. First. Number four. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. Good job. All are correct. Oh. Good job. All right. Now we're going to watch the rest of the video. Here we go. Let me start by presenting this structure. The first thing that I would like. Oh, hang on. 
Ok. Pongan atención, porque como escuchan, hoy mi voz no está muy bien, así que no les voy a poder explicar la, el video como normal. Okay. Okay. I'd like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever complement, right? didn't live with my parents there we go there we go and as you can see the other example is quite similar I wish I had my own apartment in that second example we can see that it's no longer in its negative form so therefore we're going to use the verb in the past so the example will be I wish I had my own apartment so this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom after which where is used with old pronouns so if we think about the example life is difficult and we want to express a wish then we can say I wish and the subject again life where easier uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement I wish life weren't so difficult but it's basically the same pattern that we're following and the last example my parents 
won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject my parents would stop and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? And what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions? Well, I don't have a car, so I wish I had a car. That's a, just a quick example. Uh, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills? I don't know how to program computers. I wish I knew how to program computers. And so on and so forth. So I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes that you have about yourself, about your family, about your health, about your skills. Hello, everyone. Okay. Any questions? Teacher, uh, in the example that you the word, I don't know if he's equivocated al escribir the phrase, but no puso el it, ni el I, ni el, el subject. I didn't solo puso el subject, eh, creo que era leave. Mm. We can see that it's no longer in it. Aquí. Yes. Fue en el antepenúltimo, en, en, cuando explicó el where. Mm. Ahí, life. Uh -huh. El subject is life. No, uh -huh. tendría que ser it, eh, I. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. That, aquí sería life. Ok. Ok. Y para que todos vamos a usar where. Para todas las personas es where. Ah, ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh -huh. When you say for all the people, we are going to use where. So no was at all. Okay, thank you.
Hello. Uh -huh. uh -huh.
Any questions? No, teacher. Sure. Mm -hmm. When when you when you use where and when you use I. In, in the example, in the example that I told Mario, mm -hmm. eh, for example, este, desearía ser mi propio jefe. I wish I were, or I wish I, I was. So they okay. <clears throat> teacher una pregunta cuando vayamos a usar el verbo to be por ejemplo si yo digo desearía ser delgada I wish I'll be o I, I wish I were 
Okay. Ok, en este momento lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a ir a lo que es el Midtrum, si no hay ninguna pregunta. El Midtrum tiene todas estas partes. Yo sé que no lo van a poder terminar todo, pero como solo queda hoy y mañana, quiero que vayamos adelantando para que mañana ya tenemos el examen finalizado y nos vamos en vacación sin preocuparnos de tareas. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. Ok.
Any questions, anybody? No, teacher. Okay. Cool. Did you advance a lot? A, B, C? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, guys. Yes. Hey, remember, tomorrow there is class. So tomorrow, hey, la vez pasada, se lo olvidó que en este módulo hay clases los viernes. Pero la otra semana no hay clases toda la semana. Ok. O sea que todo okay. de lunes a viernes recibiríamos clases, pero después de vacación. Mañana van a recibir. Mañana clase. van a haber clases. Uh -huh. okay. Después la semana de vacación y después el viernes otra vez. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Gracias por. Bye. Gracias por conectarse Bye. y comprender. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.